when I was very young, going to um, Mexico City with my family, we stayed at the Camino Real, and just walking in that lobby, and the hot pink wall outside, staying at that place, it really had an impact on me. The fact that I'm going to be uh, exhibiting in a museum, contemporary art museum, and having that exhibition sponsored um, by by companies in Mexico and, and brands in Mexico, it's it's very uh, it's very welcoming. <laughs> You know, we have a small gallery in a friend's place, and, and that's how I started working for Andy Warhol. So I was making an, an homage to a painting, so we took the idea of the Liz Taylor and the Marilyn Monroe, uh, the famous Andy Warhol paintings, and tried to make them look like the silk screen. So they're not really homages to Andy Warhol or to Marilyn Monroe or Liz Taylor. They're really homages to the silk screen paintings that I fell in love with that this artist made. ¿Qué representa para ustedes tener la obra de David aquí en estas instalaciones en donde ha habido tanto arte por tanto tiempo? Ay, bueno, estamos emocionadísimos y además muy sorprendidos. Ha sido una revelación absoluta para nosotros esta exposición. ¿Cómo lo definiríamos o cómo lo explicaríamos para la gente? Bueno, para nosotros nos gusta que la obra de David no sea una respuesta, sino la controversia que genere permita a la gente frente a las obras encontrar su propia conclusión. ¿Qué piensas de estar en in México en such an amazing place? Well, I mean, it's, it's, it's really incredible because some of my favorite artists come from this culture. Do you enjoy Mexico? I love Mexico. Bring it. Quiero que me digan qué les provoca la fotografía de David La Chapelle, qué los hace sentir. A mí entusiasmo. A mí diversión, mucha diversión. Recorrí las alas en esa cosa tan solemne, de, tan, de fondo tan divina. Es fantástico ver una propuesta así de fresca. Well, I want to thank everybody, um, not only for coming, but for the warm uh, welcome we've had here in Mexico. Uh, to the museum and all the, the curators and um, everyone who's just, you know, it's an incredible city and a magical place to be. In this photograph, like Michelangelo's painting, people are helping each other. They're, um, even though they know that their time is running out and they're faced with imminent death, that they're still, their humanity remains and not their animal nature or animal instinct, but the best qualities of, of their humanity and they're trying to help each other. So this was the first of the sort of mural, um, epic mural photographs that I started two years ago and this was really the first of the series of re returning to galleries after um, really 20 years of working in publishing. Always the muralist has a point of view and he's trying to express it to people. It's not just for the elite, it's meant to be seen by the public. It's not just for a small group of people or intellectuals. And that's, a, that's for me, uh, the most uh, incredible art was the art, you know, the art that speaks to people, where, whether it be Keith Haring or, or Andy Warhol or Michelangelo um, or Diego Rivera. These artists made art, you know, for, for the public and for, for people. And that's where pop, you know, comes into play. The idea of pop or the Latin um, vox populi. Voice of the people. I think the artist can be the voice of the people. And again, it's cardboard. They're light. And there's a there's a nice, the interesting contrast between the heavy idea of twisted metal with the lightness and the economy of the cardboard. And I love that contrast. Carry 
me is uh, absolutely come come to to the exhibit. I'm very excited about being there, and uh, yeah, that's it. I just invite everyone. <laughs> Thank you for inviting me.